Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over my Team of the Week Week 6 predictions for the NFL. As you guys do know, one of my favorite videos to make each week is the Team of the Week predictions. Super fun. Of course, Legend Heroes are a pain in the ass because you quite literally have to go through, like, thousands of players to decide. And, I mean, of course, it's the NFL. I think most players have had a good Week 6. So, definitely not the easiest thing to do. But the current weeks aren't that hard. Actually, very fun. And there's a lot more, like variance to things this year than usual so it's a, it's a lot more fun to predict because it's not just so obvious but guys let's get into this now before we do get into the video though shout out to the poodle squad guys if you want a chance to be shouted out each and every video in the poodle squad all you gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and of course turn on that noti bell now for today's poodle squad shout out guys we got oliver french shout out to oliver french for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day greatly appreciate you man and yeah that's about it so let's get into the auction block and start showing some of our lower pieces now guys it's week six that does mean we are still, I think we're still at a 91 overall for the top pieces. I believe this is the second week and the next week will be 92s. But moving on guys, if you guys do want coins, pick up team of the week or anything in Madden right now, head over to my reserve down below. Coins have taken another discount, so make sure to go ahead on over. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off. Stock up for team of the week and get ready for it. But let's get into this. So the first guy on my list. Now I think this guy is going to be, I'm going to start with the lower set pieces as you guys do know. Now for the lower set pieces, I got a defensive player right here. And this is going to be Marlon Humphrey. Now, Marlon Humphrey currently had a team of the week, but he had another great week. And of course, it's just going to be a plus one on his power up. So currently, his power up got up to, I believe, an 86. So I could see one more and get him up to like an 87, maybe. Or they could give him the 80, like the 88 piece. That would mean that he could just get, he gets up as a power up all the way. So I could see them making a good Marlon Humphrey. He had a great week. He had like 10 tackles. We get a sack a pass deflection, a quarterback hit. I can definitely see him getting one. And of course, like I said, it's more than likely going to be like the high piece so that he can just upgrade all the way unless they just do another plus one on top of it. But Marlon Humphrey's been having a great season. Baltimore Ravens defense has been swarming this year, except when they play the Chiefs, of course. But they've been great. Moving on to the next one, Minka Fitzpatrick. Now, Minka had a great week as well. I believe he had a pick six. Minka Fitzpatrick was one of the reasons why they just destroyed and obliterated the Browns yesterday. Of course, Baker was a little banged up, but would that have made much of a difference? Not entirely sure. Now, as you guys do know, Minka does have an 85 superstar MVP. So if he gets a power-up expansion or just a high piece, he could probably get up to either an 87 or if he gets the high piece in 89, which a Minka up there would probably be super, super good. Currently, if we got a Minka up to like an 88 or an 89, He'd probably have around a 90 speed or 89 speed with above 90 zone, mid 80 man coverage, a 80 like hit power. He'd probably be like a Tyron Matthew build for the most part. I think that'd be a really, really, really solid Minka Fitzpatrick for most people. Now, next one on the list, guys, he just got a power up. So I feel like it's it's just right that he gets a card because it's kind of weird that he just got a power up and it'll be perfect timing. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill currently only has a gold. So I see like, I feel like he's gonna be one of those pieces where he gets them that goes all the way up like Mixon last week. So maybe he gets like an 84 or 85 overall team of the week. He had like four touchdowns, guys. He's one of the MVP candidates in the NFL right now. Maybe he gets like the 88 too. Get a Tannehill all the way up to 88, guys. That's a great quarterback. If we get him, he'll probably end up having an 80 speed if he gets a high 80. Like a high, like 87, 88 throw power, all of all 80 passing, probably across the board. Probably gonna be a really solid, decently mobile quarterback. I, obviously, I'm not gonna be using him, but still would be good. Next, guys, we got... A guy that had a great week, and he finally looks like he's taking the reins of the running back on the team. That's DeAndre Swift. Now, I can see DeAndre Swift getting like an 83, an 82. A low piece, nothing crazy. Not going to have a card to write home about, but still going to be super fun. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on that because we still have some more stuff to go over here. This guy, though, if this guy gets another power up uh, upgrade right here, it would be super, super cool. Julio Jones, in his return from his hamstring injury, kind of banged up all year. Finally came back two touchdowns, like 137 yards. Not to mention, he made a crazy fourth down play where he found space, caught it, stiff-armed a guy, and scored a 40-yard touchdown. He put, the, he put the Falcons up even more. But so Julio's current highest card is the LTD. So if he gets a power plus one, he will get to a 91 overall, which would be super cool. Julio 91 overall will be one of the best wide receivers in the game. Considering this, Julio has an 87 speed. A 91 overall Julio, I'm hoping they let him get to... I mean, it's probably going to be an 89 speed, which just kind of suck. But he'll get almost every route running threshold with go deep. And you'll have the spec catch and the jumping. Now, I don't think this would be a top five receiver, but he would be super, super good. Hopefully, they could give him a 90 speed, which would make a big difference. But I doubt they actually go that route. And then now, finally, guys, for the final lower set piece, I'm going Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had another great day. Four touchdowns, like 300 plus yards, crazy plays, 
Matt Ryan is definitely a guy I could see getting a card. Now, he currently has a... Let's see, let's see. Okay, there's two... I forget how common the name Ryan is. He should have just a base elite. And Matt Ryan is a base elite, 81 overall. He probably can get like an 86, team of the week. Move him all the way up to an 87. Going to be a decent quarterback. Nothing too crazy there. Now, here's where I'm going on this one, guys. So, now to get to our legend heroes. Now, for this, guys, I'm going to go ahead and look at high overall team of the weeks because, of course... I can't compare these legend heroes to anything because they are the newest cards like they're gonna be new cards in the game so for my defensive hero now this guy is a guy that we've known throughout madden for a long time he could get a 50 card he could get a legend card but i'm gonna go take it to the bank and say that he's getting a team of the week card demarcus Ware. now demarcus Ware had a phenomenal week six in 2014 20, uh, 2007 and the issue with these legends they've had quite honestly had a phenomenal week like every uh, multiple weeks of their career so he's had multiple good week sixes so a common comparison from probably Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett's a speed rusher similar to Demarcus Ware. So I could see Demarcus Ware very similar. Having decent, I don't think he'd be like super fast. He might actually be a little less athletic than Shaq Barrett. I don't know exactly what Demarcus Ware they're giving us. They're giving us an older one, they're giving us a younger one. I don't know where they'd go with that. I guess it depends on which week they end up picking. But I could see him having average speed, great block shed, great pass rush great tackle he's gonna be an all-around great outside linebacker which would make it really tough between him guys like um ricky and guys like lawrence taylor so that, that could definitely be hard but again i don't think he'd be as good as them because he is a team of the week card but the marcus were making a return back in the game would be super super awesome and honestly i'm with it i think it's time we get the marcus Ware back in the game again what are the odds i hit on these v very hard Th these are hard ones to hit on but i would definitely like to see it Next, guys, I got a wide receiver coming in for us. Now, the thing is, to compare this wide receiver, is going to probably be similar to AJ Green, and that's Brandon Marshall, Week 6, 2013, 2014. I believe in 2013, he had, like, 130 yards, and then in 2014, he had, like, 88 yards with two touchdowns. He was always a touchdown guy. Didn't always get the highest yards. You know, like, he was more of, like, a moss you, score on you. Some of his best weeks were just a lot of touchdowns. Like, yeah, he's had the yardage games. I think he even had the reception record in one game at one point, but a lot of his games were just a lot of touchdowns. He was always good at that. So I think a Brandon Marshall card at the same overall will probably end up being very similar to AJ Green. I think he would be, I say Brandon Marshall gets 90 speed of a flat and he probably ends up with medium high 80 route running and then just low mid 90 catching. I think this AJ Green card is a perfect representation of what we got Brandon Marshall. And I believe Brandon Marshall is six foot three. So probably something within that range. Now for this week's current hero guys, this week's current hero, I'm super excited for this one. And I can say I'm almost positive it's going to be him. Derek Henry. Derek Henry is going to be an absolute goon if we do get a new Derek Henry card. You know that Derek Henry is going to hit. Now they just got to do his stats, right? If they do the right stats for him, you know Derek Henry is going to be a man child. Now let's find Derek Henry here and go off base what they currently have given him, which I believe he's actually one overall up. Now the current Derek Henry is super solid from when the game first dropped, but of course they always leave him lack they, they leave him lackluster in speed, which definitely hurts his card. So 87 overall. So new Derek Henry at a 91 overall. Or actually, no, 91, right? Yeah, 91. 91 Derrick Henry. So, I have to suspect they give him a 90 speed, right? They have to. If not, he's not that usable. So, give him a 90 speed. If they give him a 90 speed, guys, he's a top back in the game. I'm hoping. So, powered up, that gives him a 91 speed. Now, a plus 6 speed on a plus 4 increase, I don't know if they'll do that. Okay, let's be more realistic. Powered up, everything 90 speed. His Excel will probably be like an 87, 88. His agility will be low 80s. His carrying will probably be close to 90. Now, his trucking and brake tackle will be low to mid-90s. I know those are going to cross the 90 threshold. Now, if it's, and his strength will probably be like an 87 as well, 6'3". He's going to be a super good power back with good enough speed. Like, if he gets that 90 speed, he's going to look awesome. Now, the only issue I have with him is, like, if I didn't like Bo, would I not like Derrick Henry as well? Like, I don't know how to work that. Or do I know he's just a power back, so I don't expect anything else other than to run people over and truck him? Whereas with Bo, I'm like, why aren't you running around people? You know what I mean? So, I think Derrick Henry... Uh, current hero would be awesome now for the ltd current now this one was a bit tougher to predict of course because ltd current could be again literally anyone but i i have a hunch on who an ltd current could be and for this week for week six i'm going with clay matthews okay guys for all you guys who've just started watching football or playing madden you may not know clay matthews i've been playing since madden 13 we had some banger clay matthews cards back in the older maddens and if you guys played even before then you know him even better than me He's had great weeks, Packers legend, with the Rams for a little bit. Clay Matthews had a great career. He's a, he's a power rusher, he makes plays, and I think a Clay Matthews card, to give you a fair comparison here, I don't want to go with, like, it can't be LT, right? It can't be Shaq Barrett either, I just don't think that's, that's a right comparison, because of the way Clay Matthews does play. Now, 
I need like a slower, a slower pass rusher. Like maybe in a Daly's Thomas, what's your speed looking like? Still too fast. I think I think Clay Matthews will probably be along the lines of a probably have a 90 power move, a 90 block shed, 90 play rec, and then you probably have like a 79 to 81 speed. He's gonna be a bit on the slower side. I never really gave him speed, but Clay Matthews was like, like guys, in his weeks that I did it for, I had a few years. I didn't pick one here because he had multiple good week sixes. He had forced fumbles, interception, plenty of QB hits, plenty of sack. And it almost seems like the quarterback threw it away a lot because he'd have like four QB hits and zero sacks. So he was always getting to that quarter or he was hitting them late. I don't really know. Rules were different back then. But Clay Matthews would be awesome. He'd be a great, great power rusher. I would really like to see him. Again, I don't know if he'd be finesse. I'm pretty sure he's power, but again, could be wrong. All depends on how they rate him. But guys, those are my those are my things for the week. So we got Marlon Humphrey, Minka, Tannehill, Ryan, DeAndre Swift, and Julio as my lower set guys. The legend here is we got Brandon Marshall, DeMarcus Ware. Current hero, we got Derrick Henry. And for the LTD current, we have Clay Matthews. Those are all my players, guys. Let's see if we can hit. We did really good last week with the clay pool and a few other guys in there. Like our lower sets almost all hit. And then our clay pool definitely hit. Current LTD legend. That's going to be tough all year. I just want to hit one. I'll be happy. But guys, about it for the video. If you need coins to pick up these players tomorrow. Well, not these, but the players you're going to see tomorrow uh, that do come out. Heading over to Mutt Reserve down below. If you want to pick up players now. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage of the discounts as well as go ahead and join the Poodle Squad, guys. And that's been it. Make sure to subscribe as well if you guys are new. Thank you so much for watching. We're getting closer to the next channel. I'm super hyped. That's it. I'm out. Peace.